This is Alan. It's June 1st, otherwise known as Shanghai COVID Liberation Day. So I'm about to leave my compound for the first time, uh, really since April 1st. My plan today is actually to uh, take a train from where I live in Puxi all the way to my office in Pudong. And along the way, I, I might try to get a beer at the, uh, the family mart and maybe even get a shave. It's surprisingly uh, busy. So I was told this is gonna be 20 RMB for my shave today, but it could have been uh, 100 bucks and I'll still pay. So folks, how do I look? I, I gotta admit, I feel like 100 years younger. I feel ready to go to office right now. So far, I've been able to like uh, leave my compound without needing to show anything, not even my, uh, my COVID test results. And I went into the, uh, the family mart and I was able to buy a beer and then afterwards they asked me to scan my, my health code. So folks, I encountered my, uh, my first obstacle of the day. I wanted to go in the mall to this uh, coffee shop and buy a donut, but they told me that I need to take a, a rapid test before I'm allowed to enter. The nearest center is uh, a few blocks away. And even though I love donuts, um, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, there's a subway station right here, and I'm just gonna take that and head over to the office. I finally made it to the office, and I gotta admit, it was uh, surprisingly smooth. The subways, um, they weren't very crowded, as you can see, and I was able to go to my office building to show them my health code. Hi, uh, what's your name? Uh, Joe. Joe, how are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, very excited, very relieved to be out. Um, yeah. So, so what, what's your goal today? What, what do you hope to do? Uh, go out and get some nice food, uh, maybe do a bit of shopping, just, uh, yeah, just time to relax and uh, go explore the city again. There are a lot, still not a lot of people uh, walking around. So a lot of people ask me, like, how do you cope? You know, you've been locked on three months and why didn't you leave? Because some, some people were able to leave. And I, I tell people that basically uh, my coping mechanism is just living for the moment. And I didn't leave because, um, you know, I've been here 12 years and I love the city and I'm a journalist. So I, I like uh, covering history, both the good and the bad. I'm uh, finally back to my uh, compound. Um, so it was basically a mission accomplished. The only thing I, I wasn't really able to do was to find a place to sit down and get a donut or, or eat. A lot of places are still closed uh, not, and you can't even get takeout. But uh, overall, uh, like I, said, I think this is a, a good start.